Good morning guys, happy December 1st. It is the first day of Vlogmas. Um, I'm gonna try and keep up with it. We will see where it goes. Um, I do know that towards the end of the month, I'm not going to have any sort of editing software or anything like that. So I'm hoping that I'll at least get to the 25 days and maybe I can pre-film a couple things, kind of scatter them here and there. Um, also, with Vlogmas this year, it might not necessarily just be vlogs. I know that's the whole point of Vlogmas, but basically I'm kind of treating this kind of just like a, more just like content every day or a video every day sort of thing. I'm going to try and post on Instagram a lot, so make sure you're following me there. And um, I guess the first thing I have to show you for Vlogmas is our new island. All right, so the kitchen is a little messy, but when is it not? <laughs> um, this is the new island. So you can see um, that I need to sweep number one, but this is the island. We got it from Ikea. Um, I will link it. And you can see that obviously it does not match the cabinets, but that's because the cabinets are going to be painted, um, hopefully, this summer, we'll see. I like the structure of the cabinets. I like the detailing in them, but I don't like the darkness. I feel like I want white or like light gray or something like that. So I got white and a light kind of wooden countertop. So I have some of my small appliances in here. You can see down here, I have my blender and my mini food processor, my grater and my sandwich press, as well as my um, penny slash grill from Cuisinart. I just thrifted that. Oh, hello, Maple. I just thrifted that rice cooker yesterday. That rice cooker is normally $100 at Walmart and I got it for $10. <laughs> so definitely save some time <laughs> or some money rather. And then you can see my grimy old crock pot. I got that from my mom. Um, and I, I think it was my grandma's before that. <laughs> Um, I'm thinking about replacing it with another thrift store one the same size because that size just works for us But yeah um, And then I thrifted this bowl and this is what we put all of our fruit in normally. There's a little bit more variety um, But right now we just have apples. So I just put some apples in it And you can see I technically have a water jug here. It was left over from a uh, Christmas party that we had at church so um, Yeah, I went and I put it all together there were definitely some uh, missteps, but you can clearly see that it's, you know, it's pretty much underneath the fan and it's in the middle of the room. It's definitely very large and I'm still getting used to it. Um, you know, I measured it out obviously beforehand and there is still plenty of space to walk around. I mean, again, excuse all of the onion peels on the floor. I have to sweep real quick before we go out. Um, but I mean, you can see that it will fit another chair, which we will be getting, but I just wanted to space it out. So I'll be getting a same, the same one with the same cushion next for next month. Um, and this is just going to really help, but you can see there's plenty of room to walk around it on all sides. And even though my floor is a complete disaster, I am just super proud of myself that I did it by myself and I put the chair together by myself. And yeah, so our kitchen looks a little bit different now. So today, um, the title probably says it, but we are going to be going low waste grocery shopping today. I have my jars, I have my bags, I have my grocery bags, I have my gigantic water bottle things. I don't know if you can see them. Oh, there's one. <laughs> and yeah, we're just gonna go and 
we are also going to be getting a mini Christmas tree with mini Christmas tree decorations if they have some at Dollarama because I'm not putting up a big Christmas tree this year. Ty is not here to help me move everything up. So I will be putting out some Christmas lights um, and tomorrow is actually going to be my kind of minimalist um, or minimalistic um, Christmas decor video. So keep an eye out for that. Lighting and um, prop hood setup is not good, but this is what we have at all. I went to B&H, which is my local grocer, because I really do want to start supporting local businesses because I think that they're just integral to our local econ economy, and you know, it's going to like a person who you know you can meet and they're there and they're like hey what's up i own this place sort of thing and it's my own sort of that. i don't know that's just kind of like where i'm coming from at this point i got the dogs their christmas gifts i always get them their gifts on december 1st because that means that they can play with them and have them until they are destroyed so this is a penguin that is crinkly and squeaky i think I can't find this squeaker, but he's crinkly, and this guy is just squeaky. Oh, do you want this? Oh, you sit. Oh, this is a good boy. Here you go. <laughs> That's my Christmas present to Jude and Gabe. Let me know if you want a Valley Village haul. Let me know. Um, so at Dollarama, I honestly have nothing to show you except for. Oh, I do actually. I think I, I, I lied. I'm a liar. So. I got these organizers. I got two of these that are 31.2 centimeters by 15.5 centimeters by 8.9 centimeters. And it's as multi-purpose storage bin. It was 350. They're just acrylic storage bins. And I um, am going to be using these for, and this one, which is a, 36.8 centimeter by 10.8 centimeter by 10 point by 10 centimeter um, and this they both say that they're freezer safe which is nice too and this was just three dollars um, so I'm going to use these three in my fridge for Ella for school stuff so so what I really want to do is I want to prep all of her lunch stuff um, before like on Sunday and then come the week she can just in the morning take everything out of the fridge instead of me having to make her whole lunch every single night before school or every single morning at school i'm just gonna make everything put them all in containers tupperware containers and then she can pick what sort of fruit vegetable snack sort of thing she has going on obviously she has to make good choices i'm gonna be checking her lunch but um that brings me to my next item. So I don't know why they put this in a plastic bag with a zip tie, like a little twisty tie around it. But these are just clear plastic Tupperware containers that have a screw top lid. And I'm gonna be making homemade Jello cups for Ella because she absolutely loves Jello. I found some really, really good sugar-free Jello for her. Um, and she really likes it. 
and um, it just doing the jello the store bought jello cups is such a waste because I buy these once yes there's a little bit of garbage with them but the jello comes in a paper bag and a cardboard box so I can recycle both those things and I just need water for it so bulk barn I went to bulk barn and I got got a lot of tea okay um, got a lot of tea and I shouldn't have especially because these tea boxes have plastic around them. Like I have containers for loose leaf tea. I even went and bought, last time I was at Hot Topic? No, at Bulk Barn, I bought a caramel apple cinnamon loose leaf tea and it's delicious and it's amazing and I have teas and I shouldn't have bought tea, but I bought, I bought tea. So the first tea I got is the cinnamon apple chamomile tea. I normally don't get the chamomile one, but I just figured chamomile can't hurt. It can't hurt to sit down with a warm cup of apple cinnamon chamomile tea at the end of the night. And this is tea. I get a lot of teas that are herbal because number one, I have a very, very low caffeine tolerance. Like I had caffeine, I had black tea this morning. I had about half my mug of black tea and I still feel it. <laughs> so um, I will say the thing I like about stash teas is that there's no plastic on the packaging. They're made with recycled materials. And um, I believe that you can recycle the bags. I, like I said, guys, I know. I shouldn't have gone and bought tea, especially bagged tea. I don't need bagged tea. I have tea. I have loose leaf tea. I could have bought loose leaf tea. I could have gone to David's tea while I was at the mall on Saturday and gotten loose leaf tea, but I didn't. So the next one, unfortunately, Celestial Teas. I love... Hey, stop it. Boy, stop it. So I love Celestial Tea flavorings. And I love their teas. I love the fact that it's called Celestial Tea and all that. But I hate the fact that they have plastic around their their tea bags. Let's see what kind of tea bags these are. The thing I do like is that so that they print their packages on recycled cardboard and the tea is just like it doesn't have those tags on it. It's just a wax sealed bag and the bags are cloth bags um, or at least very thin paper and you can compost them. I mean, you can compost both of them, but I just wish that Celestial did not put plastic around them. Anyway, that's my rant for today. Um, <laughs> so this is the Candy Cane Lane Decaffeinated Green Tea. Um, so I got that. This is peppermint green tea, decaffeinated green tea, orange peel, cinnamon, milk thistle, blackberry leaves carob, roasted chicory, vanilla bean. So, sounds delicious. And Celestial, they, they do have, like, I'm not trying to shit on Celestial, like, they have amazing ethics and everything like that. The next one I got is gingerbread spice herbal tea. It just says herbal tea, so it's not, like, decaffeinated. Um, it says cinnamon, roasted chicory, ginger. Lo Han Go. So... That's lovely. And then from Stash, I got the black tea white chocolate mocha. And this one is cocoa shells, black tea, cinnamon, natural tiramisu flavor, natural coffee flavor, natural chocolate flavor, natural white chocolate flavor. So those are the teas that I got. Way too much tea for one and sometimes another human to drink. Anyway, we're moving on. I got white navy beans. I got peanut butter, crunchy natural peanut butter. I got one can of sweetened condensed milk. I have, these are um, barbecue chickpeas for a snack mix I'm making for Ella for school. I got myself some tropical Skittles for the next week. These are barbecue potato rings. 
for that same snack mix. These are pumpkin seeds for her for that snack mix. Sunflower seeds are also going to go in there. Um, I ran out of bags, so I got a plastic bag. But this is coffee whitener. Um, but this has, it just says it contains milk. So I'm figuring it has lactose in it. Um, so I did get like my normal silk soy coffee creamer, which is like a little one because I don't drink black tea that often. And the only time I have coffee creamer is when I drink black tea. But I figured that I would try this because then my coffee creamer wouldn't go bad but I have to see if this gives me a stomach ache or not. Um, here is some quick oats, rolled oats. And I got some natural almonds. That's it. Oh, no, it's not. I lied. Ella got candy for herself. Um, she got these candy blocks. Candy blocks. So she's going to munch those to me. Can I please have my candy blocks? Thank you. All right. I'm really sorry if you can hear my dogs. They are crazy right now. Food, basics, and b and I'm just going to combine the two because I can't remember which bags go to which thing. So, this is going to be in no particular order because I'm too tired for that, okay? No one asked you. I got leeks. I got four? Four leeks? Yeah, four leeks. Huh? Normally I only get three leeks. I got four leeks. I got carrots. I got very large carrots. I had a grocery bag, so I had to use this, this one. But I got three things of the Life Smart from Irresistibles 100% pure egg whites. These are 500 gram containers, so they should last me quite a bit. I got green beans. Can you see them in there? Green beans. Out. Out. Um, I got hummus. These are all pork hot dogs. I got three cans of the compliments flaked light tuna in water. If you want to know what kind of like anything is for or what my meal plan is or what my game plan is, oh my gosh, these pings. <laughs> I look like, like greasy, greasy boy. <laughs> like a greasy the cat is ever Ugh. Yuck. Yuck, yuck. Yuck. Also yuck. For that, I will link my blog for you. It's not much. We there sometimes. <laughs> I got some B H, your community grocer. Grenville grass fed beef, which we live in the kind of like district of Leeds in North Grenville. So it's super local. Boop. And this was about 400 kilograms, 400 grams. 400 kilograms and then I got local pork chops Ontario pork raised by Ontario farmers um and this is about 400 grams of pork chops and then I got chicken breasts this is one two three four five six seven chicken breasts I got some cauliflower florets you can technically steam them in this bag, but I don't do that. Um, I also got some Brussels sprouts and some avocados. And again, if I was able to get Brussels sprouts and cauliflower in loose vegetable form, I would have, but I couldn't today. 
I got frozen raspberries, frozen blueberries, frozen sliced strawberries. This was a lot of packaging. This was my packaging bit. I got a small jar of, or a jar of the Thai green curry paste and red curry paste because this is the first time I've ever seen it at Food Basics. And I wanted to make sure that I had it for the next time that I wanted to make a curry. I got Ella a, um, a, a word search puzzle. It's bring a word, um, double large print. That's what she wanted for her treat. I got yogurt. Ella wanted some pea soup. So she got pea soup with smoked ham. This will obviously last her a couple meals. Ella also picked out a box of KD for herself. We do not have KD very often, but I got her berry blue jello. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six honey crisp apples. We saw this salsa and I had never heard it. This is Mrs. Renfro's authentic Texas pumpkin salsa. It has a medium heat to it. I thought it might be delicious and interesting. I got six tomatoes. Oh no, one of my tomatoes has a hole in it. <laughs> got stabbed by something. Okay. Um, I got two sweet yellow onions. I got five pears and a package of mandarin oranges. I got hot dog buns and whole wheat bread. My silk coffee creamer, soy coffee creamer. I got another another one of those Mrs. Renfro's, but I got the Chipotle corn salsa one. It sounded really good. I found this chicken um, concentrated bouillon mix, and it comes in a tin, so I thought that was pretty cool. I also found these two different um, salad dressings that came in glass bottles. So this is the Caprices de Tan um, vinaigrette. This is balsamic roasted onions and apple, which sounded delicious. And then this is the Kine yogurt salad dressing and creamy Caesar creamy and peppery with Parmesan and garlic. Got bananas. And last but not least, I got some Ontario free range eggs. So I know that was like the longest grocery haul that a grocery haul has ever grocery hauled. And I know it was the noisiest grocery haul that's ever been put on the internet. But there we go. Boys, stop it. But that is, was my grocery haul for today. So I need to go put all of this away now. Jude has one of his stuffed animals. He loves it. <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog, day one of Vlogmas. I'm gonna go put this stuff away, edit this vlog, and I will see you tomorrow morning for decorating the house.